Hello everybody, this is Michael Smiley coming at you with another review video. Um, we're going to be talking about Queen Elizabeth, Royal well, Elizabeth, and Elizabeth the Golden Age. <coughs> um, first of all, I love both movies. Kay Blanchett is an amazing, talented actress. And she went above and beyond for her Elizabeth role. I think that they were very nicely done. Um, and it's it's one of the best Elizabeth movies out there. Um, I haven't really hated an Elizabeth actress yet. Or not actress, but like... I don't know how to describe it. Um, like, you know when people are passionate about roles, is what I should say, and when they're not. And I haven't really came across one that wasn't passionate about playing Queen Elizabeth I, um, Elizabeth Tudor. Um, I love how Elizabeth, the first movie, Elizabeth, um, covers her early reign before she was queen and when she was um, anointed or you know crowned queen and then you know during the early part of her reign with um, having her deal with all the backstabbing and betrayal and um, just the chaos that was happening at the time because it, the country was transitioning from Mary Tudor, Bloody Mary, um, who was Queen Elizabeth's the first sister, um, she had the country in a Great Depression, and there was religious nonsense going on. It was just, it was terrible. It was a terrible time. And poor Elizabeth, 25 years old, comes in, gets crowned because her sister finally died, thank the gods, um, of cancer, I believe. Um, she was a horrible person, so um, for her to come in and uh, try her best, and with everybody against her, she really... Uh, she did a very intelligent job with turning everything around. Um, so when you get to Elizabeth the Golden Age, which is the later part of her reign, she had already gotten the country back in full swing of being a powerful nation, rich. Uh, it was a very prosperous moment in time for England. And... Uh, they had an excellent leader at the time. Queen Elizabeth the First was the longest reigning monarch, but of course that's been um, that record has been broken several times over as people have been living longer due to resources that we have nowadays and everything. But I feel like um, Elizabeth is the greatest ruler who ever lived um, for a substantial number of reasons and it's hilarious because people are so sexist that they just are blind about um, anything when it comes to leadership they think that a white old man is going to you know solve everyone's problems well England's had three women who have really they're never going to be forgotten because of their contributions to their countries and their um, intelligence and the fight that they've had to go through and the struggles and everything and they came out on top and their reigns will never be forgotten and that's Queen Elizabeth I, Victoria and Queen Elizabeth II. Um, and realistically, 300 years from now, they're still going to be talked about.
because those three women, not men, women, are the ones that changed the face of their nations. They're the ones that went through all the struggles. They, and it's funny because during their times, they became the longest reigning monarchs. <laughs> um, and they really did a lot for the world and for the countries, for their countries. And, um, their, their legacies are going to be immortalized because they've just done so much. So getting off topic. Um, <clears throat> yeah. So check these movies out if you haven't, especially if you love, um, uh, historical dramas. Um, the only, the only really real complaint that I have about th these Elizabeths is the fact that Elizabeth did not shave off her hair and then proclaim herself virgin and paint her face white like that. Um, her face... Okay, so backtracking here. She wore wigs because she came down with smallpox and she had scarring. And she's balding because of it and everything. So that's why she wore wigs. The white face paint makeup got dramatic over time, not just in one foul swoop where she shaved off her hair, painted her face away, and proclaimed herself virgin. That's not how it happened. Not by a long shot. It had nothing to do with the real story. Um, and I think... They're, it's ridiculous with how they handled that in the movie. Um, but that's really the biggest complaint that I have. Um, like I said, the white face paint happened over a period of time, not in one foul swoop. And it was to cover her scarring and everything from her smallpox. The wigs were to hide her scarring around her head and her balding spots because of the scars and everything due to smallpox. Not because she shaved it off and wanted to wear wigs. That's not how it happened. Um, <clears throat> but yeah. Otherwise, they're really excellent movies. And you should check them out. Especially if you love historical dramas. So, um, And of course, Kate Blanchett is amazing. So, there you go. Um, that's all I have to say about these two. So... If you like these movies, comment about them, like, subscribe, and until next time, guys.